Welcome to the Let's Play Solitaire. Time to have some fun. Let's go ahead and get started here. Just coming off from a win and looking to expand that. All right, I like to go for columns first and then work my way to the draw pile. Each one of these is a challenge. I also like to save these early cards as insurance for later. And if you want more detail tips, I've got some links in the description below uh, to a couple of playlists, which is, you know, tips on how to get better and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll we'll see what we encounter here, and I'll, I'll try to explain what my thinking is as we go. So yeah, just kind of going through there first, uh, the next time around. Again, I like to save that first card as insurance, so I'm not going to play this yet. Uh, we will play this. I also want to open up some columns here. So we got a, a decision tree here, a couple tens and a jack. I don't know which one is better. That doesn't look good. Could potentially, that's an interesting, that's an interesting dynamic there, because now we got two different kings. That's probably going to be the way to go, and if we move the red nine, we could do a lot of stuff with that. There's also the ace of clubs, two of clubs, maybe we can move, oh, we get another red nine here, so that's the way to go there. And then we still have this other red nine in play. We're going to have to figure out how to move these diamonds, though. We don't have an ace here, so that's going to be something we're going to have to go after here. Yeah, we'll see. I think that's the way to go. Although, I, I've had in the past where I, I thought one move was clearly better, and then I made the next move, and I'm like, oh, that was the difference. you know. So we'll see. We'll see here. 8-4... Yeah, we need to figure out where to move these diamonds. So we have the 9, that's our one move. Our second move could be the 8. Which means... I may need to put one of those kings back. Because I feel like I need a red king. Because we can go queen, jack, 10. That may be... Yeah, I may be taking that back. You know what, I think I'm going to have to take it back. So let's put the king back. Let's leave one of the slots open. Yeah, I think I yeah I think we have to go the red king here. I because of where that queen is. Getting to that jack is going to be the question. But again, we got that insurance card, so we should be able to do it. I'm going to see where that jack is. Not there. Let's see. Oh, we can move this three here. That's good. We can move the two of diamonds. Better yet. Better yet. Better yet. We need to move one card to get to that jack. Let's just keep stretching through here. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. That's good. Eight. And then, so we got the kings out. So that was a better move there. So I think it's one to get to the jack. Right? Oh, no, the jack's here. Okay, so we got the jack. Does that help? No, no. This jack could be important if we could combine it with a red 10. Although I'm not seeing a red 10 here. Oh, I do see a red 10 right there. And so yeah, may if we can manage to drop out here, maybe we can pull this off. Oh boy. All right, so I gotta put the two back. The reason I put the two back is I wanna get this red 10. And you'll, you'll see why when I click through. I probably, I'm thinking too fast, but. All right, so the nine there. So that's, we're not only going to play one card. We're not going to play the seven, even though I want to. The reason why, we want the jack. So the next play is this jack. And then the ten behind it, which should be right here. Now we can play this nine here, and we'll see if that works. Okay, that's a good card. <clears throat> that's a real good card for us here. Although we got all four kings out, so I don't know if it's... That's good. We can play that. Let's just start playing the cards we can play. So diamonds here. We can't play hearts. I'm not going to move this three hearts. It doesn't have any value to move it. So, But I do want to find a path between red card and black card. It doesn't matter which card. 
but I want to be able to make a path to get the foundation pile there. I went into the wrong one with the queen. So five of spades, that's good. That means we can take this five of clubs here and move it like that. I'll move it here, but we don't really need to, I think. So seven there, two. Now we're going to start just playing cards. Three of spades, four of diamonds, five of diamonds. Now we got two. So we don't have two sixes. If we had two sixes, I could do a trick with that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So we can get that six down here. I'm going to see what other cards we can do first. I'm not going to pull this five down. Uh, we can pull the six here, seven. Oh, we can put this six right here, I think. Yeah. All right, we're going to get it. I was looking for other ways to, to manage the draw pile there, but it looks like we're going to get it without having to go to those measures. So that's kind of good. I think that's real good. Uh, we're going to get this thing solved here. So eight of diamonds, nine of clubs, and got it done. Got it done. Pretty cool. Yeah, another W there. And uh, like I said, if you're looking for more tips on Solitaire, there is a link in the description below to a couple playlists. Well, there's a Solitaire Tips playlist on this channel. There's also a Let's Play Solitaire that has games just like today. Today's game will actually be in there. Uh, yeah, if you uh, for tips, the best two in my opinion, there's a bunch of Solitaire Tip ones on there, some short ones. There's Solitaire Complete Tip Guide is like 35, 36 minutes long. How to Win at Solitaire is around 25 minutes long or something like that. Those are the best two if you're looking for real detailed tips on how to get better. But you only want to go to those if you have have a little bit of time because there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, the Solitaire Complete Tip Guide, my to give you a background on that, my solve rate was around, around 16, 17% for the first 1,000 games or so. On there, it's up to 42%. What I did over the course of, I think it was like six months, I just saved like the best games with certain uh, examples and stuff of how to get out of certain situations. And I wanted to put that all in one video, which it did. And that basically, I got better at that. Obviously, you see my solve rate went from like 17 to 42 and yeah, so, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in there. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, there's also some good stuff in here. Uh, that was, I made this a little more recent, but uh, yeah. So if you're looking to get better, those are the best two. There's some other uh, tips on there too. Uh, some of the tips you may have seen, some of them you, well, obviously some of you probably haven't, but uh, yeah, there's some good stuff in there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and good luck.